Hey everybody, Dirk Zeller, CEO of Real Estate Champions. Hey, online leads, online lead conversion, especially direct inquiry leads, challenge. Let me help you with the challenge of those inquiry leads that think you're the listing agent, which is a high concentration of them. They're shopping, consumer direct, they think they want to go with the listing agent because they can save money or they can improve their odds of securing the home. Let me teach you what to do with those people that are in that mindset. And the first mistake that I see most frequently is if you're getting an online direct inquiry lead where they're inquiring about a particular property, you do not, let me say that again, you do not disclose that you are not the listing agent. Mistake that so many agents make is they share that information and then all of a sudden because their mentality, that buyer's mentality is, hey, listen, I want to work with a listing agent directly, click, they're gone. Do not disclose that you are not the listing agent. It's a lot easier to handle that objection or concern at the house at the showing and sell your value at the showing. If they ask you directly, of course, you have to disclose. You have to disclose that you are not the listing agent, but you have to do it clearly, everybody. And what I mean by that is you can't hem and haw around. You've got to just say, hey, no, I am not the listing agent, but actually there's some real big benefits to being represented and here's what they are. And in fact, you can flip it to, there's a whole lot of things, everybody, that the listing agent cannot do. Think about it that way. The truth of the matter is the listing agent cannot disclose information to this buyer. In my personal view, everybody, the listing agent cannot do a CMA because they would be guiding them. They cannot give guidance, evaluation, or strategy to this particular buyer in terms of value and pricing of this particular home. They cannot disclose that the seller is reaching for a higher price than maybe fair market value. They can't do a CMA for them. They can't give any counsel. In most states and provinces, that would be contrary to law and contrary to the code of ethics. The other thing they cannot do is disclose information about the seller. I mean, think about this. How many times when you've presented an offer for a client or you've asked the listing agent and pr are preparing an offer for a client that you actually got some valuable information from the discussion with that listing agent that utilized well, created an advantage or a better situation for your client. Whether that was, right, they won more easily in a multiple offer situation or it was a negotiating point of terms or a price that created an advantage. For most good agents, it's more often than not you can get them an advantage because of that questioning of the listing agent and them slipping up. Bring that forth. If you have to, be clear in your disclosure, but sell the benefits. Figure out the benefits. Be very clear. Have a list of the specific benefits that you can create for a represented client. Don't keep it general. Oh, you're unrepresented. That's too general. Tie it to something that's important to them. Better terms, better conditions, right? Better pricing, saving money, right? Uh, securing homes in multiple offer situations with a higher frequency the avoidance of mistakes, better education of that particular client. There's a host of things that would cause you to be a better selection than the listing agent. Make sure you're dealing with that with online leads. Be prepared and more later this week in the webinar that Mark 
and I, Mark Martin and I, are doing. Make sure you're signed up for that. We're down to our last handful of seats. Make sure you grab your seat so you can attend and get best strategies, practice, scripts, and dialogues to online lead conversion. Have an awesome day today. We'll see you soon.